part of the lectures, uh, the uh, syndesmology part two, which include the second half uh, of the uh, joint of the upper lip and also the joint of the lower lip. So uh, first is the distal radial ulnar joint. Uh, the articulation takes place between the head of the ulna and the ulnar notch of the radius. And the type of joint, uh, it's the uh, same uh, like uh, proximal radial ulnar joint is the synovial pivot joint. And the movement of this joint are uh, uh, supination and pronation. So, so the movement when the palm of the hand moves upward, it's called supination. And when the movement when the palm of the hand moves downward, it's called pronation. Also, the bone of the forearm joined with, with each other by the interosseous membrane, which formed by the strong connective tissue membrane. Wrist joint. Um, wrist joint. Uh, no, first I, I show this one. So this one is the distal, um, uh, distal radial ulnar joint and this interosseous membrane. Next one is the wrist joint. So what we have in the wrist joint? Uh, the wrist joint uh, uh, occurs between several bones. Uh, the first distal, uh, the wrist joint also called the distal, distal, uh, uh, the wrist joint also called uh, the radiocarpal joint between which because the articulation takes place between distal part of the radius and the trimetacarpal bone, scaphoid, lunate, and triquetrum. So uh, the um, ulna not participate in articulation because the uh, head of the ulna are separate from the triquetral bone by the uh, articular disc. The type of joint, this is a synovial ellipsoid joint, and the ligament of this joint are the ulnar collateral ligament, uh, radial uh, collateral aid, radiocarpal ligament, the palmar radiocarpal ligament, and dorsal radiocarpal ligament. And the movement of this joint are the flexion, extension, adduction, and abduction. So this joint is the wrist joint, and we can see on this picture the ligament of this joint. This one is a radial collateral radiocarpal ligament, this one ulnar collateral radiocarpal ligament, and this one is the palmar, uh, uh, palmar radiocarpal ligament. And on this side, we can see the dorsal radiocarpal ligament. Next joint, joint uh, of the hand and the fingers. And the first joint uh, is the intercarpal joint. The intercarpal joint occurs between uh, the uh, individual bones of the first and second row of the carpal bones. Uh, type of joint, this is a synovial plane joint, and the ligament of this joint are the anterior intercarpal ligament, posterior intercarpal ligament, and interosseous ligament. And the movement are the gliding movement. Uh, the carpometacarpal joint and intercarpal joint are similar in structures. Uh, and the same type, the same movement we have, and the same ligament we have in the uh, carpometacarpal and in the um, intercarpal joints. But we have some different, uh, for example, the carpometacarpal joint of the thumb. The carpometacarpal joint of the thumb occurs between the trapezium and the first metacarpal bone, and uh, this type of joint, this is a synovial. Uh, saddle joint and the movement are the uh, flexion, extending of the thumb, adduction, abduction, and rotation, all opposition. Uh, so this one is the intercarpal joint, and this we can see the interosseous ligament between the individual bones, and this carpometacarpal joint of the thumb between trapezium and first metacarpal bone. Next joint, metacarpophalanges joint, the articulation occurs between the head of metacarpal bone and base of proximal phalanges. Uh, the type of joint, this is a synovial condylar joint, and the ligament of this joint are the uh, palmar ligament, deep transverse ligament, which hold the head of the metacarpal bone, and the collateral ligament. The movement are the flexion extension, uh, like this flexion extension, and adduction, abduction of fingers. So, this one. This one is the uh, metacarpophalanges joint and the ligament of this joint, which is a collateral ligament, this deep transverse ligament, and this palmar ligament. Then interphalanges joint. Interphalanges joint occurs between the head of the uh, phalanges and the base of next phalange. And uh, the type of joint, this is a synovial hand joint, and the ligament of this joint is the palmar 
uh, ligament and the collateral ligament and the movement just flexion and extending this one is the interphalanges joint and we can see here this one is the palmar ligament of interphalanges joint and this on the both side of capsule we have collateral ligament of interphalanges joint so this uh, uh, we finish the joint of the upper limb next joint of the lower limb and the first joint of the lower limb it is the sacroiliac joint Sacroiliac joint are very strong synovial joint and are formed between the articular surface of the sacrum, not articular, auricular surface of the sacrum and auricular surface of the hip bone. Uh, it's very strong uh, and this joint hold by the very strong uh, anterior, posterior and to sacroiliac ligament which suspend the sacrum between uh, two iliac bones. For example, this interosseous ligament present between iliac tuberosity and sacral tuberosity. The iliac lumbar ligament uh, also present in this joint, which begin from the transverse process of the fifth uh, lumbar vertebra, which pass up to the iliac crest. And also we have two strong ligaments which connect sacrum with, um, uh, with the ischium, uh, the sacral tuberosity ligament from, is, uh, from sacrum to ischial tuberosity and sacral spinous ligament from sacrum to ischial spine. And so this joint, and we can see the ligament of this joint, this anterior sacroiliac ligament. This one is the posterior sacroiliac ligament, this ilia lumbar ligament, and this sacrospinous and this sacrotuberous ligament. And these two ligaments form the greater sciatic foramen here and the lesser sciatic foramen. Next joint, symphysis pubis. The symphysis pubis is a cartilaginous joint between uh, two pubic bones. Uh, the articular uh, surface is covered by the layer of hyaline cartilage and are connected uh, together by the fibrocartilaginous disc. The disc has a small cavity in the midline. Uh, the joint surrounded by the ligament, which is superior pubic ligament and inferior pubic ligament. And this, mo this joint is um, immobile in male and in woman it's light mobile. Uh, during uh, child labor. So this joint, this one is a symphysis pubis. Next joint, uh, hip joint. Hip joint articulation uh, take place uh, between the head of the femoris and the acetabulum of the hip bone. And the cavity of the acetabulum is depended by the presence of fibrocartilaginous rim, uh, which we call the acetabular labrum. And the type of joint, it is synovial ball and socket joint. The ligament are the iliofemoral ligament, uh, pubofemoral ligament, and ischiofemoral ligament. And also we have transverse acetabular ligament, which present, uh, the for, which form the bridge above the acetabular notch, and the ligamentum of the head of the femoris, which begin from foveae of the, or foveae of the ligament, of the head of the femoris, and attach with the um, transverse acetabular ligament. And this ligament contains the blood vessels. Uh, the movement of this joint is a flexion extension, adduction, abduction, also circumduction and rotation. This joint is a um, um, hip joint. So this one is the head of the femoris and this ligamentum of the head of the femoris, this acetabular labrum transverse acetabular ligament uh, to which attach the ligament of, of the head of the femoris and inside we can see the blood vessel. Outside we have capsule and the three uh, ligament begin uh, in front and behind from the capsule from anterior inferior iliac spine to the intertrahanteric line it's iliofemoral ligament from the uh, pubic ramus to the intertrahanteric line, uh, the pubofemoral ligament, and from the body of ischium to intertrahanteric crest, ischiofemoral ligament. Next joint, knee joint. Knee joint is a complicated joint because the three bones articulate with each other. The um, condyle of the femoris, uh, condyle of the tibia, patella, and patellar surface of the femoris. So in this joint we have special cartilages which we call meniscus. We have two meniscus, medial meniscus and the lateral meniscus. And we have two kinds of ligament in this joint, interarticular ligament and extra uh, intracapsular ligament and extracapsular ligament. 
The intracapsular ligament is the anterior cruciate ligament and posterior cruciate ligament. And the extracapsular ligament are the ligamentum patella, uh, which uh, attach the central portion of the common tendon of the quadriceps femoris muscle. It's uh, separate from the synovial membrane of the joint by the intrapatellar plate of fat and superficial infrapatellar bursa separate the ligament from the skin. Uh, also, we have the lateral and medial collateral ligament on the lateral side of joint and two popliteal ligament, oblique and arcuate on the posterior side from capsule. The movement of this joint are the flexion extension in frontal axis and rotation in the vertical axis. Type of joint. The type of this joint, so the joint between the condyles of the tibia and condyles of the uh, femoris are the synovial, uh, synovial um, hand joint. And the type between patella and patellar surface of the femoris, it is uh, uh, plain, uh, plain uh, joint or gliding joint. So this joint, and on these pictures we, we can see the structures of the uh, knee joint. First, it's this cruciate ligament, anterior cruciate ligament, posterior cruciate ligament, and these special cartilages of this joint, which is meniscus, medial meniscus, and the lateral meniscus. And here we can see the collateral ligament, which is the extra capsule ligament of the knee joint. So on this uh, picture, we can see the uh, posterior, uh, this one is the uh, oblique popliteal ligament, and here we can see the arcuate popliteal ligament, also collateral ligament, medial and lateral, this medial, this lateral. And this one, uh, the patella, which present inside in the tendon of quadriceps femoris muscle. And from the tip of patella then begin the patellar ligament, which attach with the tibial tuberosity. And we can see the uh, some bursa in, in, beneath the skin and behind the patella and pet of fat, infrapatellar pet of fat. Then uh, proximal tibia fibular joint. So the bone of the leg articulate uh, with each other by the proximal tibia fibular joint, distal tibia fibular joint, and ankle joint. The proximal tibia fibular joint articulation, uh, it's uh, lateral condyle of the tibia and, head to to and the head of the fibula. Type of joint, this is a synovial plane joint. The ligament are the anterior and posterior ligament, and then interosseous membrane, and the movement are the gliding movement. Distal tibia fibular joint, it is a fibrous joint, because the fibular notch of the tibia fuse with the distal part of the fibula by the connective tissue. Next joint is the ankle joint. So, ankle joint articulation, the lower end of the tibia and medial malleolus and the fibula and lateral malleolus, and the body uh, and trochlea of talus. Body, uh, on the upper aspect of the body, we have trochlea of talus. Uh, the type is synovial hand joint, and the ligament are the uh, medial or deltoid ligament, which begin from the medial malleolus and attach with the three bones, navicular, uh, talus, and calcaneus, and the lateral ligament, which begin from lateral malleolus and attach with the two bones, which is uh, talus and with uh, calcaneus. The movement of this joint uh, is the dorsal flexion, the toes point upward, and the plantar flexion, the toes point downward. Because this is a synovial hand joint, which is a uniaxial joint. So this is ankle joint, and this one is a lateral ligament, and this one is a medial or deltoid ligament. Next joint is joint of the foot. Uh, the first joint of the foot is subtalar joint. Articulation, inferior surface of the talus and the upper surface of the calcaneus. The type, it is synovial plane joint. The ligament of this joint are the medial and lateral talocalcaneal ligament. And interosseous ligament which present in the sinus of tarsi, uh, and which is the groove which present between talus and calcaneus. The movement are the gliding movement possible here. And the, so this one subtalar joint between the talus and calcaneus, and we can see the ligament like um, medial and lateral uh, talocalcaneus ligament, and inside we have interosseous ligament. Then talocalcaneonavicular joint occurs between three bones of the foot, between talus, 
between uh, calcaneus and between uh, navicular bone. So this, uh, the, this uh, three bones articulate with each other and the common ligament of this joint are the plantar, calcaneo, navicular ligament or spring ligament, which connect the inferior part of the sustentaculum tachy, tali and navicular bone and stala navicular ligament. The ligament, uh, the movement of this joint together with the subtalar joint made up in the sagittal axis uh, and the movement are the aversion and inversion when uh, the, mo the foot moves to the medial side and to the lateral side. So this one is the spring ligament and this one is the talonavicular ligament. And uh, also we have the joint which is the calcaneo cuboid joint which is present between calcaneus and cuboid bone and the ligament of this joint long and short plantar ligament. The long plantar ligament begins from the uh, calcaneus tuberosity and divided in four bands which attach with the base of the from second to fifth metatarsal bone and the short plantar ligament which is present between the calcaneus and cuboid bone. And this ligament we can see on from, um, from sole of the foot. This one is a long plantar ligament, and also we have beneath the short plantar ligament. And, and two joints, the talocalcaneo navicular joint and calcaneo cuboid joint, form the uh, transverse tarsal joint or chapar joint. Uh, and the common ligament of, the, of this joint is a bifurcate ligament, uh, which begin from the cuboid bone and divided into bench, which attach with the uh, navicular bone, uh, which begin from the calcaneus and divided into bench and attached with the navicular bone and cuboid bone. And if you cut this ligament, uh, this joint lose the, the stability. So where is this bifurcate ligament, this ligament? Uh, from calcaneus to the navicular bone and to cuboid bone. This one is the ligament of the transverse tarsal joint. Also, we have very important joint, which is a tarsal metatarsal joint, uh, or less frank joint. Uh, this joint occurs between the um, uh, tarsal and metatarsal bone. For example, the for example, the uh, first and second metatarsal bone articulate with the navicular bone. Uh, third with the medial cuneiform bone, uh, fourth with the intermedial cuneiform bone, and fifth with the lateral cuneiform bone. And the ligament of this joint are the dorsal and plantar tarsal metatarsal ligament, intraarticular interosseous cunea uh, metatarsal ligament, and also medial interosseous cunea metatarsal ligament, which, is, which begin from the uh, medial cuneiform bone and attach uh, with the uh, medial cuneiform bone and attach with the um, uh, second metatarsal bone. Oh, sorry, articulation is... Um, just a moment, just we'll see. Articulation of tarsal metatarsal joint. So articulation, uh, I make mistake, uh, at articulation navicular bone present above cuneiform bone. So uh, the medial cuneiform bone uh, articulate with the first metatarsal bone, the intermedial cuneiform bone articulate with the second metatarsal bone, the lateral cuneiform bone articulate with the third metatarsal bone, and with the cuboid bone articulate the fourth and fifth metatarsal bone. And the main ligament of this joint, which is um, uh, medial, cuneiform metatarsal ligament, which begins from medial cuneiform bone with the second metatarsal bone. Because if you cut this ligament in this point, this joint also loses the stability. So the other joint, which is present uh, on the lower limb, are the same, like, uh, like on the hand, uh, like um, in the, this cuneonavicular joint, and the metatarsal phalanges joint, like metacarpal phalanges joint, and the interphalanges joint are the same like on the hand. The same uh, type, the same articulation, the same uh, ligament, and the same movement. Thank you for your 